a new look at what can happen in this extreme heat that we're facing. It's part of our new series live on GMA. We're going to do a live demonstration showing what can happen if you're stuck inside a car in these scorching temperatures. Yes, and guinea pig aka Gio Benitez <laughs> is right outside Philly right now. Philly's a great town, but when we told you you were going, we then told you you had to go sit inside a car in the heat with the windows up and no AC on. So it's going to get pretty hot there a little later. What's going to, uh, what are we going to see from you this morning, Gio? Yeah, you know what, TJ? We're talking about a heat index in this area of over 100 later today, okay? And we're going to see some of the hottest temperatures in years across this country. This is going to be one of the most dangerous places to be in, a hot car, especially when we're talking about your children. Is this your car? Yes, sir. Open it up right now. Police in Oklahoma rescuing this 14 month old baby just last month left in a car sweltering in the summer heat. It's skin clammy and bright red. Is that your child? Then you come here. What the hell were you thinking? This child survived, but a staggering 21 other kids have died in hot cars already this year. The biggest mistake people can make is to think that this will never happen to them or their family. Experts say forgetting a child can happen to anyone. It happened to this mother last year. I work in the emergency department. I'm a nurse, and like I hear these stories. About, I, I have four kids, and I always think, like, how could that possibly ever happen? That child too was okay. Experts say it doesn't take much to turn a car deadly. Even with the windows cracked, temperatures can reach a dangerous 125 degrees in just minutes. And don't let mild temperatures outside fool you. Children have died from heat stroke in cars where the temps outside are as low as 60 degrees. Tinted windows, they don't help much either. Everybody needs to look before you lock. About a third of deadly cases are the result of children wandering into cars on their own. Experts say always keep cars locked and keep keys out of reach of small hands. If a child goes missing on a warm day, the first place to look should be inside nearby vehicles and teach kids to honk if they're stuck. Okay, we can see Geo there. You're all wired up getting ready to get into that hot car right now to show us how quickly they can become dangerous. Everyone, we want to tell you Geo will never be in danger right next to him. A certified paramedic, Joe Yoakum from Narbeth Ambulance. He's going to be monitoring Geo's heart rate and temperature the entire time. But Geo, tell us, what do you think we should expect? Okay, so Cecilia, right here, we have the car temperature right now. We're looking at 83 degrees. We've got my heart rate. Uh, I've been talking, so I'm at uh, 161 right now, but it was earlier a little, uh, a little lower. And now we're talking about a body temperature of about 98 degrees, Can right? Take it again? So 98 degrees. Take it again. We'll do this right here. And so the purpose of doing this, okay, is that we want to make sure that you understand what happens to the body because it is just so dangerous for children. Uh, in the back seat of these cars. So we're going to be here for the next hour and we'll be back to show you what happens. Yeah, Gio, we'll be checking on you throughout the morning. And in our next hour, Gio is going to show us some tips, some brand new technology that can help you keep your family safe. But this is a really important thing to hear this time of year. Yeah, and to hear that a child is dying, 60 degrees, you don't think about that. Yeah. yeah. A child yeah. can die in a car. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.